Desmos has made some amazing updates when it comes to running regressions for data. Let's get right into it. I want to start with this data here in Google Sheets. It represents the height of a ball that I've thrown up in the air versus time in seconds. I'm going to copy my data by first highlighting it. So I'm going to click, hold and drag through my data. And then I'm going to do a control C. If you're on a Mac, you'd want to do a command C. Now back over into Desmos. I am here at desmos.com in their graphing calculator. I want to paste my data in. And I do that by hitting control V, V as in Victor, so control V, or command V if you are on a Mac. Now I've got this zoomed fit, which is great. If it wasn't for some reason zoomed the way you wanted it, it will often give you a zoom fit symbol. And right down here, I can click on that zoom fit symbol. But what we really want to do is to match a curve to model this data. Desmos has made this super easy. All you have to do is to look for this symbol in the upper left hand corner. This is the regression symbol. So if you hover on it, it says add regression. If you click on it, it adds its guess at a regression and it always defaults to linear. Well, it's definitely not linear. And if I scroll down, I can see that my R value is only there at 0.1635. We'd want it to be at either a negative one or a positive one. We're nowhere near either. So I'm going to click the down arrow for this drop down menu and we're going to choose a quadratic regression. Now this one looks great. And as I look at that R squared value, it's 0 0.9959. The highest that could be is one. So this is a really, really nice fit. Now you might also want to work with the regression equation and I can copy that regression equation and work with it by clicking on the symbol here next to the equation word. I'm going to click on that and it puts it down into one of my empty cells. You could change the rounding on this. You could make some edits. What I really want to do is just to change the generic Y into an H of X for my height. And then I could evaluate it. Say, what is H? What's the height at 1.8 seconds, for example? I also want to show you how to put in your own set of data. So I'm just going to click and delete all of this just to put in a set of data from scratch, not copying it from anywhere. You would click the plus button and then table. I'm going to go ahead and just do one, two, then it starts to guess. I can just enter. I'm going to go through six there and then I'll put some points here. 11, 13, 14, 15, 19, and we'll say 22. I'm going to again click on zoom fit and I can see that it's kind of sort of linear. I just made up some values. I'm going to click on that regression symbol and as it runs that linear regression, it's actually a pretty good fit for this linear regression with that correlation coefficient at 0.9689. I can again copy the regression equation and work with it from here. I know you'll love this update as much as I do. More Desmos here.